morning everybody we're back with another live workout live workout number 28 today is going to be a striking focus workout both uh, some boxing and kickboxing techniques will be in today's workout uh good morning tt smith so we're going to be focused on some, especially if you guys have been following my story or following my story yesterday, um, definitely going to focus on some also offensive and defensive techniques today in the workout. So we're going to try to learn how to get to hit and not to get hit, all right? Theoretically speaking, hopefully this never has to uh, really, you don't have to use these skills in real life, but it is a great workout. So we are going to start with our stretching and mobility okay movements we have we're going to go and normally when i do my boxing uh kind of my old school warm-up when i started back uh doing training for kickboxing um back at amir's academy in st petersburg we did jump rope followed by body weight so a uh, body weight squat excuse me so i'm just going to do three quick rounds of 40 on 20 off 40 jump rope 20 squats just bang it out real quick and then we'll go into a kneeling T-spine rotation and then a rocker stretch or adductor stretch, kneeling adductor stretch. Then we'll go into the interval workout, okay? So we're going to start with that jump rope. I got my imaginary jump rope. If you have a real one, go ahead and use it. Here we go, okay? Just alternating feet, pretending to swing that rope. Oh, yeah. I highly recommend, always, 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 whenever anybody asks for exercise equipment recommendations, especially nowadays, that's been a, a big topic of discussion. Um, jump rope is probably the first thing I suggest because it's cheap. You can get a quality one for, um, for 10 bucks or less, you know, depending on uh, how skilled you are. And it provides a, phena phena a phenomenal workout. Um, not only is it great for producing leg strength, building cardio, but it's also really good for helping with foot strength, ankle mobility, um, calf strength, everything like that. You know, and it's really good and helps, you know, obviously, as I said, great for cardio. So highly recommend investing in a uh, jump rope. All right, round two. Let me see what else is in here. Good morning, mermaid smile, all right. Uh, Whew. I'm gonna go one leg, left leg only. Pretend to swing that rope still. Right leg only. A little dreary day outside. I don't know if you guys can see out the window out there, but we are uh, still, uh, we're uh, experiencing a little bit of rain. So uh, I had to bring it inside for today's live workout. <sighs> Almost there. All right. Back to squats, try to get that good squat, press those hands out too, a little more core engagement, which is really important when you squat, helps protect your lower back. One more round, all right, here we go. Feet together. Who jumped in today? Uh, um, uh, ooh. Oh, the El Cafe Tampa. Good morning. Feet together, high knees. Keep it going. Last round, a little jump rope. All right. Almost there. And yeah, squat it out for 20. If you are going to jump rope, especially for long periods of time, which is not necessary, you know, I'm just doing 40 seconds. I always recommend some sort of soft surface. Obviously, I'm using a mat. Um, obviously, boxers have the a ring at their disposal, so that's really helpful. Um, but if you do it on solid surface for long periods of time, especially if you're not used to it, you can uh you really could uh, have some sore casts and ankles the next day so probably take it a little bit easy but if you have like a little padded mat or even better kind of like a little platform that plywood platform um to uh have some give when you do your jumps that's ideal all right so kneeling t-spine rotation 
turn off my timer real quick. Okay. Boom. All right, so here, kneeling rotation. Uh, so I'm rotating to the side, my knees up. Oof. Oof. I really feel the stretch all the way up from my knee that's down into my shoulder that's back here. Good. side now okay you guys can hear I'm sticking it up to my breath I inhale exhale inhale exhale keep going two more Not only am I working T-spine mobility in that movement, but I also, as I said, right here, the sling fascia that straps from here down into here, you can feel that stretch. You feel that, is, that, that connective tissue pull and stretch, okay? And that's really important for rotational movements, which you do a ton of in boxing and kickboxing. All right, so rock or stretch. I'm gonna kick my leg out 90, okay? I'm gonna push my knee, try to go over my toe as much as possible by keeping my heel down, stretching inside the thighs. Hold for a few seconds and come back, okay? Rock. And back. Whew. All right, switch to the other side. If you guys need some more stretching or warm up, please do so. Okay. Obviously, if you're watching this live and you're following along, you can just stop and do a little bit more work. This will be on the uh, Instagram page for 24 hours. But all the live workouts go up on the Elemental Training YouTube page where you can stop, rewind, pause, okay, follow along, everything like that. So you can always check it out there too if you need to stop and do a little bit more extra stretching. All right. That's a great ankle mobility exercise too. We call it dorsal flexion. You don't have to go out to the side, going to the side. It's really to stretch that adductor. But if you can push that knee over the toe and keep that heel down, it really works on ankle mobility. And you can hold that position for 30 to 60 seconds if you need to work on ankle mobility. Ankle mobility is super important to movements like the squat. All right, so we're going into the strike and warm up. We've got four different exercises. Give a little sip four different exercises we're going to repeat three times i'm going to do my 40 on 20 off as i normally do you guys modify it to match your fitness level and i'm uh, going to do four exercises as i mentioned we are going to do a uh, cross excuse me lead hook cross slip to my right power uppercut okay i'll show you that here lead hook cross slip to my right power uppercut okay lead hook got that rotational punch cross slip to my power side slip to my right okay then come underneath that slip punch boom with a power uppercut so i'm slipping to avoid a punch somebody's trying to punch me right in my nose a straight punch like a jab or a cross and i just move my head out to the side and i counter boom with a power uppercut okay lead up cross slip power uppercut okay that slip is just Really kind of a waist up movement. Just moving my head off that center line, okay? All right, so exercise number two, lateral lunge to front kick, okay? And here I'm gonna be interrupted by Miss Ella. Hello. <laughs> you watching Frozen? All right, that'll be done in a few seconds, okay? I'll be out there with you, okay? We'll have to turn quiet. Uh, I know, we're watching, we're, I'm filming a video, so I'm gonna show people how to exercise, okay? All right, I'll be out there in a second. All right, so, <laughs> so we're going to do a lateral lunge to front kick. 
I'm gonna lateral lunge, come up with that leg I stepped with, front kick. I'm gonna do five to each side, all right? Uh, remember the front kick, toe up to the sky, knee up. So knee up comes first and shoots the foot out. Whoop, a little too wide with that one. All right, so that's a lateral lunge to front kick, okay? All right, we're gonna do five on each side. Then we're going back to another striking combo. Jab, cross, block, block, lead hook, power uppercut, okay? Jab, cross, left elbow block, right elbow block, lead hook, power uppercut, okay? Now I said left and right blocks, but it's basically lead and power block, okay? Since if there might be southpaws out there. So jab, cross, lead block, Power block, come back with a lead hook, power uppercut, okay? Jab, cross, block, block, hook, uppercut, okay? That block, my hand is tight to my ear, trying to keep my elbow in as much as possible, keep it down as much as possible to protect the most surface area. Come back with another block, lead hook, power uppercut, okay? My hand's up here because if it's down here and I try to block, still get punched in the head, Right behind the ear is a real soft spot. You can get knocked out theoretically, of course. All right, so that's exercise two, three, excuse me, exercise four, technical stand-up. All right, so might be challenging for some, okay? And you can always modify to just a Turkish sit-up, and I'll show you that real quick. But we're gonna go all the way down to the ground, okay? Boom, say I get knocked down, all right? And I gotta stand up, but I don't wanna stand up like this right in front of the person, okay, close to the person, close to the person who just knocked me down, I wanna step up and stand up and get away from them. So, I get knocked down, boom, my hand goes up, I put the same side, my hand is up, my foot is down, and then I'm gonna pull that leg that's out in front, back, step back, okay, you see how much distance I created? That's important, especially when you get knocked down, you might not have all your wits about you, so you need to create distance, all right? So then we go to the other side, boom, knock down, Boom. The key is pulling that leg. Boom, the leg that's straight, pulling it back. So I got my hand up for a defense. I use this leg, the foot that's down, same side the arm is up to elevate my butt, pull that leg back, step back, create distance, okay? Technical stand up. Uh, if you can't do the stand up, boom, uh, Turkish sit up, okay? Same side arm and leg are up, roll to the elbow, push the palm, reach for the sky. Okay, go ahead, just do five on each side, all right? That's your little modification. All right, here we go, let me get started. Back to that timer. A little set, lead hook, cross, slip to my power side, boom, power uppercut. Hook, cross, slip, uppercut. Hook, cross, slip, uppercut. Hook, cross, zip, uppercut. Ah, that's a back combo right there. So, legal cross, slip, upper. Legal cross, slip, upper. Legal cross, slip. Upper. There it is, good. All right, lateral lunge to front kick. Remember, front kick, pull the knee up nice and high, then shoot the, shoot the foot out. Higher the knee, higher the foot will land, all right? And we're trying, in competition, you're trying not to kick below the waist, but, you know, if you need to use this in a real life situation, kick wherever. <sighs> I like to call the one that's below the waist is more of the soccer kick or the punt drop kick, if you will. Five on this side, so I can start uh, lunging to my right. Next round. Uh, one more. Uh, 
try to get my chest up, butt down when I do that lateral lunge, okay? Let my knee, my feet rotate a little bit, okay? Turn out. Uh, so we got our jab, cross, slip, uh, block, block, lead hook, power uppercut. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Uh, jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Jab, cross, ah. Uh, jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Keeping my elbows tight. Uh, jab, cross, hook, block, hook. There you go. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Sometimes you can't roll. Sometimes you can't slip. So you gotta block, but you gotta protect as much as possible. Boom. Okay. I keep everything tight here because if I'm here trying to block, somebody's throwing a hook, bam, I hit myself in the head, okay? You gotta to absorb it, okay? If you can't avoid it, you gotta absorb it. All right, technical stand up. Boom, create distance, okay? Good morning, Jay Nader, okay? All right, boom. Same side, arm is up, that leg is up. Pull that foot through, step back, okay? You get knocked down. Hands up. Stand up, create distance. Like I said, if you're having trouble with this, go ahead to the Turkish get up, okay? All right, Whew. one round down. Uh, back to the top. Lead hook crawl, slip to my power side, power uppercut. down a little bit. Woo. When you shadow box, you really should be throwing everything with 100%. Okay, that's how you get the most out of it. Obviously, you know, pros, you see them when they warm up, they're just going slow, going about 50%, but you know, when they're warming up for a fight, it's a little bit different. Okay, so I'm gonna go right lateral lunge, right? With the kick. And I think it's kind of person dependent. Ooh. My thought is, especially when you warm up, you have the same amount of intensity you would in a fight. But obviously you could probably just go short burst, conserve your energy, obviously, for the main event. But when you're shadow boxing, you don't have to worry about fighting. Go 100%, okay? It's exercise. Boom, all right. I'm gonna go back to the right side for the next round. Whew, all right. So we're back to another, the block combo, okay? Yeah, don't keep that hand away from your body like this. Don't think, oh, I can block like this. Not only is this a lot of gap, so you leave a lot of room to get hit, okay? But also, when you if you do get hit, boom, it hits you in the head, that will, that will throw you off for sure. It's a little notification. There we go, it's throwing me up. Alright, technical stand up again. 
Now we're on to the last round. I'm gonna start the fan in here. Get a little warm. Technical stand up, okay? I'm practicing my fall too. You know, basically trying to sit all the way to my butt. Boom, boom, boom. Pull that leg through, stand up, create distance. That's the key. Boom, you're not down. You gotta get back up. Boom, create distance. My hands are hitting the ground to absorb the impact, absorb my momentum when I fall, okay? All right, two down. Last one coming up. Going back to the slip to my power. Lead hook cross, slip power, power cut. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Southpaw. Cross. Ha ha. Not as smooth. hard if you build on Bonnie all right go ahead we're almost done with the workout and then we can go live brother oh. well, more than some sides Front kick that leg. Don't let it touch the ground. Go right back out. Go back to the right side. I'm gonna finish this one out. Two more. One more. All right, back to the striking combo. Jab, cross, block, block, lead up, power up, go. Gonna try a south ball this round. I recommend you sticking, if this is new to you, if striking is new, stay with your power side, stay with your dominant side in the back, okay? Don't worry about uh, switching up yet, okay? Jab, hook, upper, there we go. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Now make sure that right hand doesn't drop. Jab, cross, sorry, left hand. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. There it is. Saving it for last. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. Jab, cross, block, block, hook, upper. All right, one more. One more technical stand up, then we're done for today's live workout. Find all the live workouts on the Elemental Training Tampa YouTube page. Okay, this is number 28. We'll be back on Monday with number 29. Okay, here we go. Last one. Boom, we're getting knocked down. Then I'll get up again. Technical stand up. Create distance. Almost there. Oh, wrong leg. Oh, wrong arm, I should say. Yeah, get away, get away. Almost there. Ding, ding, ding. Good morning, the bike wrench. How we doing? 
All right, guys, that's it for today's live workout. Strike and focus. We have all different varieties um, on the Elemental Training Elemental Training Tampa YouTube page, guys. Boom, you can find it all there. All these live workouts, okay? Um, if you guys are interested in online training with me, you guys, I can build you a workout plan um, based on your fitness goals and exercise equipment access. So that's kind of important too, because that dictates what kind of workout plan you get. So if you're interested in that, contact me, just send me a message on here, or uh, go ahead and email nick at elementaltampa.com. You can also contact me if you're interested in virtual training. You guys can do a workout with me over the phone, over the laptop. I've been doing it, obviously, since I went on this hiatus, shoot, almost five weeks ago. And it's really been, um, uh, I've had some great feedback, great experience with clients. So if you're apprehensive, try, just try a session. Trust me, you won't regret it, okay? All right, spread this around, share this with friends, and please uh, let me know if, uh, uh, what, uh, what else I can do to help you guys stay fit during